Hi, I'm RC Jim, and I'd like to share with you a few things that I've learned about antennas. Antennas on your transmitter, antennas on your receiver. Rather important little things as they control our planes and uh, help to keep them in the air and keep them under control and all of that type of thing. Now, there's uh, a lot of things that I didn't know about antennas for a long time. <laughs> Continue to fly planes and, and they manage to mostly stay in the air. <laughs> But uh, there's some potential issues that could cause a crash, and so I want to let you uh, be aware of these things and uh, perhaps share with you some things that you didn't know. So have a listen and see if you uh, don't learn something uh, that's new. Now, first off, uh, let's think about the receiver end of things. So we've got a, a nice little receiver here. We've got two antennas on it. Um, and um, with the antennas, as far as having two, that is a matter of providing sort of a fail-safe option. So if the signal isn't good to one, perhaps it will be good to the other. And if as long as you got one with a good signal, it's going to be fine. So as you, you think about your antenna, uh, there's several things that are pretty important. First off is to understand what part of this is actually receiving the signal. And it's just the end bit. So in this particular one, it's from the case all the way out to the end of it there, about 31 millimeters or so. On this one, it's actually both that end bit there plus what's underneath this little thing here. Uh, now this particular uh, setup like this, it's called a dipole antenna. And it's actually like two antennas in one. You've got one part of it here, and you've got one part of it there, and the two things are acting together to join a signal together to send it down the, the, uh, the lead into the receiver, and that's giving you extra um, ability to um, uh, get the signal in there. It's also especially important for a telemetry type receiver. It's going to be using this for transmitting the signal because these ones here are fine for receiving a signal, but they're not as good for transmitting it. You have that one is going to give you a better range uh, for transmitting. So uh, the reason why this one is out on a long wire is not that it needs a long wire for the antenna. This is all shielded through here. So it's got a, a, a grounded shielding around the uh, wire that uh, protects it from receiving any radio signal through there to where it just has the right length. And this length on the end of it is important. Don't go trimming that off or anything like that. It's actually the right length to create the, the sort of resonant frequency that it needs to amplify that signal and get a decent signal uh, inside of the, uh, the receiver. So we've got two antennas and the idea is as long as one of them is receiving a, a signal, you're going to get a signal in the receiver and you've got control of the plane. Uh, the reason for having uh, them on the end of a long lead like this is that inside the plane you're going to have some things that potentially could block a radio signal. Uh, you've got uh, a battery, you've got various conductors in there, um, you might have some uh, carbon fiber parts, you might have some metal parts, things like that. Those are all things that can tend to interfere with a radio signal. So it might be that uh, where this is, you, you try to get this located as much as you can sort of in an open area where those things aren't interfering with it. Uh, but it might be in a particular direction, the signal coming from a certain direction that it's going to go through the motor or something else, you know. Uh, so the idea is for this other one to be a distance away from that one so that whatever is interfering with this area here is not interfering with that area. In addition, antennas uh, have a, a characteristic, you might call it polarity, but um, the, any antenna, whether it's receiving or whether it's transmitting a signal, it's the strongest when it's coming from the side. Okay, And also, if you have an antenna out here that's parallel to that one, that's going to give a much stronger signal than if one is perpendicular to it out here. Okay, this is still going to give a signal, but it's going to be stronger when the two things are parallel. So uh, typically you're going to have this one out here 
perpendicular to that one. So it might be out here uh, along the uh, fuselage, um, it pointed towards the tail or something like that, back away from all the electronics. Uh, this might be pointed up straight or it might be out horizontal, um, you know, whatever it might be, but they'll be perpendicular to each other. Uh, uh, and um, part of that has to do with this polarity thing. And part of that has to do with the idea that it receives a signal best coming from the side of it as compared to going towards the end of it. Okay, now with regard to that polarity thing, that is something that is especially um, cared for in your transmitter. If you've got a decent set of transmitter, the idea is that you've got one antenna that's going this way, and inside here you've got another antenna that's going that way. So this one is perpendicular to that one, and they're opposite in terms of polarity. So if you've got an antenna that's out here, you know, roughly parallel to that one, that one is going to give a stronger signal than this horizontal one. If the airplane has turned and it's now, you know, going that way, uh, it's going to get a stronger signal from this one down here. Uh, furthermore, it might be that the airplane is overhead and out the end of that one, and so even if it's not, you know, the uh, in that parallel position, it's still going to get a stronger signal from this one than something that's out at the end of that one. Or heaven forbid that the thing is sideways to you and, and side on on this one. But uh, if that was the case, then this is going to give a stronger signal. So we've got as many things happening as we can to, to give you multiple ways that a signal can be received but the thing to keep in mind is to do your best to make sure that you've got some good things in there to where you haven't nullified one. So for example using a transmitter with a antenna pointed out straight at your airplane that's ridiculous. You know that's going to be fine if it think goes up over your head behind you someplace but <laughs> I hope that's not happened. So if you've got an antenna that moves point it up. Some of them, the antenna will come out and then you can uh, tip it up uh, or tip it sideways. Uh, if it's a, uh, just a, a single antenna, then think about your airplane and think especially about how that air antenna might be oriented if you're out at a distance, the, the sort of farthest way that you tend to fly. You know, when things are in close, you don't need as strong a signal anyway. You know, but if the thing is, you know, you're potentially losing control, it's way off at the end of the field, you're going to come in for a landing, somebody else had a dead stick and you had to do a little bit of a circuit out around the end and, you know, it's gone, you know, a kilometer, two kilometers away or whatever. Uh, you know, how is it likely that that antenna is going to be oriented in the plane? You know, if you've got a vertical antenna in the plane that when it's uh, sitting, you know, uh, level with the ground and so forth, then obviously you definitely want to have a vertical antenna uh, on your transmitter. Okay, If it's horizontal out there, then you might be better to tip that um, antenna sideways. If you have a single antenna and the thing goes out and can rotate and you can point it whichever direction you want, maybe side on is going to be better if you've got a horizontal antenna out there on the uh, airplane, whether it be going down the length of the fuselage or going across the fuselage. Um, so you can think about those things and especially as you think about the situations where uh, you're way off at a distance, um, how you might maximize uh, it in a situation where potentially you might be losing control of the aircraft. Um, naturally, if you're doing a lot of stunts and things like that, you want to do most of those close in. Uh, and that way, no matter what's happening with which how the plane's oriented, it's uh, much more likely to receive a good signal. Okay, so um, uh, those are uh, some important things. Now, another important thing that especially affects your receiver is the part of the antenna that's receiving the signal needs to be straight. You know, oftentimes these can think come out of the package with a nice curve on the end of it. Uh, you want it straight. Uh, with these little ones that are coming straight out of the receiver, if there's not stuff around it, it might be fine just to, to do that. Um, if uh, it's something that uh, you've got other wires around and you're worried about getting pushed around, you can take an um, uh, antenna tube, and um, this is actually just a piece of heat shrink tubing, but um, 
properly a little plastic antenna tube on the end of it can hold it straight and for this one back here have a little antenna tube uh, on the side of the plane where you want it to hold it nice and straight and for this one you want it straight all the way from the uh, black end of this dipole part of the antenna all the way to the end of it and doesn't need to be absolutely perfect but you know just <laughs> straighter the better you know so you can straighten them out a little bit if they aren't quite right um, you could also tape this to the side of the airplane uh, one thing that I've done in um, this plane right here is that uh, you can see underneath here that yellow tape that's where the antenna is taped on and I leave the the wing on on this plane when I'm transporting it and I wanted it out there in the open and I wanted that one horizontal if that plane is, you know, leaving me and going away, it's out there in a position where nothing is going to interfere with it. I've got a horizontal antenna in my transmitter as well as the vertical one, but the horizontal one is uh, going to be very effective in communicating with that one. And um, so it's very likely that I'll have the best opportunity uh, for recovery. As you think about uh, keeping your antenna straight, uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you've got a, a small receiver like this one here and if you've got both an antenna coming out this way and right across from it there's another one coming out of the other side here that is actually a dipole antenna similar to this thing here it's just that one side is going out one side and the other part of it's going the other side those two things need to be straight do not take one of those things and bend it 90 degrees thinking that it's a second antenna. Now those are two parts of the same antenna. It's a dipole antenna like this little thing out here. It's just it's, it's got the receiver in the middle of it. Um, so that needs to be straight right across there if it's got one exactly like this one sitting here sticking out the opposite side. Those two antennas need to be straight across. Do not bend one 90 degrees. If you have a uh, receiver that doesn't have telemetry, uh, it probably won't have this dipole thing on the end of it. Uh, but as I mentioned, this is something to uh, help it receive information or transmit the information back uh, more effectively than if it was just the single ordinary uh, sort of antenna. As much as possible, you want everything to have two <laughs> antennas. Your, your uh, receiver to have two antennas, your transmitter to have two antennas. So that's worthwhile looking into to make sure that's the case. It's good to know how that they're oriented and say um, something like this fly sky. I've had this apart and I can see that there is an antenna that's horizontal in there. I can see that there's an antenna wire that goes sort of uh, up to the back of this and disappears in there somewhere. And that one, I, I hope it's got an antenna up in here someplace that's oriented this way. That would be the ideal, but I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, it would be better to know, to be able to, to know for sure exactly where that is. And all you Fly Sky people out there, if you do know, let the rest of us know so that we can benefit from that. So, in conclusion about antennas, strongest signal from side on to the uh, orientation of the antenna. Uh, parallel is more effective than um, perpendicular as far as that uh, orientation goes between the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, you want to keep the um, antennas and the receiver away from carbon fiber panels, from uh, you know even your battery, uh, uh, motor, various metal parts and things like that. The more it can be out in the open, the better. Um, you need to keep the end of the antenna, the part that's receiving the signal straight, and that's the last 30 millimeters or so of the end of it with a clear bit. And if you've got a dipole antenna, then all the way from the black bit here all the way to the end needs to all be kept straight. You can curve the bit going out there, uh, but uh, the end of it, keep it straight. Uh, in your plane, make sure that the two antennas are perpendicular to each other and it can be perpendicular in, in any way but uh, perpendicular to receive the best signal. Keep in mind that because of that situation where you've got the maximum signal when the antennas are parallel with each other, 
think about the situation where your plane might be running away out of control, you've lost signal. What is the orientation that is going to be best to get control to that plane? So two antennas that are parallel to each other. So is that going to be a vertical one? Is it going to be a horizontal one? Make sure you've got that in your plane to be able to recover it and bring it back towards you and get better control. You can use uh, plastic tubing to, um, to, or, uh, to hold your antenna straight and they do sell plastic tubing that is specifically for antennas and I can't imagine that just ordinary plastic tubing is a problem but nonetheless you might as well use the stuff that's uh, made for it. So uh, that should give you what you need to know. Uh, if you've got other questions or things that you'd like to share, please uh, put them in the comment section down below. Keep in mind, subscribe, and you'll keep all of these tips handy. And you have a great day, and enjoy your flying. I'm Marcy Jim, signing off.